everybody. Welcome to Vida day five. It has been a very strange day weather-wise. It started off snowing <laughs> and then the sun came out and the sky is blue but if you're in the shade it's really cold. So mostly today I've still been carrying on sorting out my room. I've got some pictures here that I'm gonna hang up. They used to be in the living room and earlier I had uh, delivered some picture hooks because we've got these picture rails it's a bit of a funny angle isn't it <laughs> anyway we've got these picture rails so we can actually hook these over and have a cord to hang the picture on and that'll be nice because we've got some really nice pictures there's one that was taken by one of the students in brazil when we were working in brazil and we were doing photography classes and all sorts of things and then that's a picture that I took on my phone uh, when I got back and um, the autumn leaves were falling and there was just beautiful droplets of water on the leaves and um, I just snapped it with my iPhone and had it blown up and that's a picture that Darcy took when she was on a photography course once when she was a lot younger so that should look nice and Ben and I did quite a bit of planning earlier and I'm temporarily, maybe just for one day, hopefully, <laughs> going to, well, maybe it'll be all week actually, going to work in his office because he's on Easter holidays now and he can crack on with lots of things in the house. And before my dad moved in, he started putting secondary glazing into the bay window in this office room and the side bits are just propped up so he's going to finish that off and whether we stay here so yesterday as you saw in the vlog we went around kent and looked at the outside of different properties and whether we decide to move or whether we stay here everything needs a lick of paint anyway because we haven't decorated for 10 years we decorated before we went to brazil and we rented this house out so that's the plan so i need to crack on um i've sorted out all my papers in terms of what i want to throw out what i want to keep and now i just need to put everything away in the cupboards and kind of have things organized in relation to memorabilia and then kind of folders for household different rental properties etc most stuff is digital now so that's pretty good Well, I've done all I can do for now and Darcy's cooking the tea, which is great. And then I'll be back to work tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vida day six. So I've just come down into my office to collect my headphones, ready for any calls. And I'm setting up my office in Ben's office, setting up my work area. Mm -hmm. And Ben's going to fix these windows. So the side bits there are just like resting in place. And he's going to finish that off. So that's cool. Because Ben is a teacher, so he's on two weeks holiday now. I woke up this morning and I felt a real sense of achievement and taking new ground. And there's three areas that I felt that in. One is communication between me and Ben, which is really cool. Um, usually things are a bit kind of frantic in the Easter holidays or any, any school holidays. But I think with bullet journaling, I feel so much kind of clearer about the categories of tasks. And as we're talking it through, that seems to be really helping Ben as well. So that's cool. So not just bullet journaling, but the whole kind of concept of the four pillars. And, um, Yesterday he was saying, oh, I feel like the same things are always on my do it list. And I was saying, well, that's normal when you've got tasks that are about keeping on top of things. So that's cool. And then we can kind of really 
make sure that we're also doing something towards projects moving us on towards the end goal so that was helpful i think and another thing was yesterday i might have said this in yesterday's vlog i don't know when i sat down to play the piano after i'd moved all the room around i just felt like i have really progressed i haven't practiced for a few days and i was able to sit down and play a tune that i'd been working on so that was a real sense of satisfaction and there was a third area yeah after sorting out my cupboards i know it looks a bit of a mess at the moment but um watching other people's bullet journaling videos where they are focusing a lot more on the graphic design and the style i suddenly thought actually i could apply this to kind of files that you keep for regular stuff although most stuff is saved digitally now and also memorabilia and we could have like boxes dialed in a nice kind of way like memories from this year memories from this year or decade <laughs> try and whittle it down and not store too much stuff yeah because when it was our 40th wedding anniversary we spent about an hour trying to think of a memory from each year and afterwards we thought <laughs> yeah the memories that we always remember are holidays and the birth of children or birthdays and i think that's because you take photographs at those times so it might be worth actually keeping like a memory box or you know like well it made me think that's why people do scrapbooking <laughs> yeah, so not just kind of having stuff in cupboards and folders and boxes and not being able to part with it but actually intentionally keeping memories and storing them in a certain way anyway <laughs> comment below if that's something that you do and how you do it because yeah it feels like a new thing for me thinking about doing that in a much more intentional way the word of the year <laughs> talk to you later so I'm all settled in working upstairs in Ben's office. This used to be Louis's old room. It used to be a jungle. I'll link his jungle video here, his jungle bedroom video. I um, have just stopped for a coffee and a hot cross bun break. It's nice working in here, but I've got double glazing in my room. Although, you know, it's been finished off. It's more secondary glazing, really. And I'm about to go on to a meeting and um, across the road, we've gone all quiet now, they're redoing the roof. So the traffic's a bit noisier and then there's workmen hammering, singing along to their radio. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. So one of the comments said, show us your car. So there we go. <laughs> There's my car. I managed to nip out to it between snowflakes. <laughs> um, off to pick up Darcy from the station. And we thought she was coming back later. So I have um, eaten a pizza that she bought. <laughs> well, we shared it. We were going to make a picnic and go up onto Epps and Downs. Um, and then she texted. So I think what we'll do is I'll go and pick her up and she's gonna have to fix herself some tea. And I think we're going to take something for dessert out to have some fun.